It seems like September for me is a month of starting over. When it comes to Destiny 2, it's literally starting over. I migrated to PC, so none of my gear, none of my triumphs or my challenges, I'm not keeping any of that with me as I head into Forsaken, but it hasn't really slowed me down. I've been having fun and the support of friends, so I'm pretty much gearing up as I go. And then with the MCC, having a game that's been so broken for so long finally be playable and getting into a party with people that I I have not spoken to in four years and immediately falling into those same jokes, the same fun, the same conversation. All of this has been so refreshing and a much needed sort of pause from the current gaming world. So I just wanted to talk a little bit more about that, about starting over, about how these games are starting over from their turbulent pasts and how I'm trying to find my footing in a ever-changing YouTube. So let's talk about that right after the drop. So what's up everybody, how's it going? Lugundo here, welcome back. And today I just wanted to do a little bit of a meta calm commentary. I just wanted to chill and talk into a microphone a little bit about some things I've been going through, some things going through my mind and some games I've been enjoying the pants off of lately. So let's talk about Destiny 2 Forsaken and the Halo Master Chief Collection. Now this isn't a review, I'm doing my Forsaken review on Monday. I want to have enough time to finish the campaign and do a little bit of endgame grinding. I am not the kind of person who can dedicate eight hours, so I'm very much behind the curve on that. So if you're expecting a Forsaken review, this is not it. This is just some general musings on how Forsaken has been sort of a reset button for Destiny 2 and how the MCC has hit its reset button and has become something that I'm really enjoying and getting back in touch with people from my past that that honestly I haven't spoken to in like a year or two when Warzone was still fresh and new and before that it was barely speaking to them from the Halo Reach days so it's been cool reconnecting with people that I missed playing with and just having those vibes and the joy of getting into a game knowing just chill callouts being able to just relax and play and not have have to get super sweaty because it's BTB and we're the wheelmen and we're just gonna roll over anyone anyways, but we can still have some fun while we're doing it. But seeing the MCC return and seeing so many people being positive about the MCC returning has been very reassuring for me. The world, it can be a negative place and can be somewhat depressing. It's a bit of a dumpster fire right now here in the US, which is unfortunate. And I live just outside of DC, so I hear that all the time. And just gaming is that escape for me. Gaming is the place where I go, the thing that I do to sort of just decompress and relax and escape from those pressures. So if you know me, you know I'm not a super sweaty player, I'm not a tryhard, I know I'm not going to win the majority of the games that I play, I just hope I'm entertaining with them. I don't need to be the absolute very best like no one ever was. So getting into the MCC and knowing that a lot of people are here for the nostalgia factor, the classic factor, the old school Halo, oh my god, the memories factor, and the fact that I'm one of them has been pretty cool. There have been some recent updates, and there's now a separate Halo 3 and a general BTB playlist. So I'm going to be jumping between both of them, probably, because both are a little bit of fun. But I just want to give props to 343, to everybody who's been working so tirelessly on this. The Master Chief Collection in its current state is pretty good for me, at least. I know there's some problems with people outside the US not being able to matchmake, but just for me personally, this has been a dream. And then, speaking of dreams, let's head over to Forsaken, where the Dreaming City is the endgame area, and I haven't even gotten that far yet. I am just killing all the barons and having these unique and interesting boss battles that all play mechanically different. All but one of them so far have been absolute home runs. The hangman for me was a little, the final fight was a little weird, but the lead up to it was cool with him burning through the servitors and just destroying these, these religious objects for the fallen. It really sort of set the scourge apart from the fallen, the base fallen. And I think that was an interesting touch. And while I'm talking about being happy and being mellow, yes, the story of Forsaken and the way Forsaken starts is pretty sad and pretty depressing and pretty messed up. Cade 6, the favorite, our favorite wisecracking hunter just gets shot in the chest. Spoilers, Cade 6 is actually dead. 
I know a lot of people were saying he'll be alive again by the end of Forsaken, but that is not the case. I've seen that spoiled for me in my chat with the people I was streaming with, which was a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, I'm just going through and chilling in Destiny again. And again, it seems like the community around Destiny has sort of rallied behind Forsaken and is saying this is what you should have done in the first place. I said in my Chasing That Gaming High video, the one I did about old school games that were released and were done and were never patched again, that sometimes I get very frustrated with this whole fix it in post world of gaming now that DLCs and patches are totally a thing. People sometimes rush something out, but between Forsaken and MCC and even Sea of Thieves to some degree, while the frustration leading up to that patch can be pretty daunting and can be turn it can turn you off to a title very quickly, the celebration and the catharsis when the game finally does operate the way you expected it to, I don't know. A lot of people would say that it doesn't excuse the earlier missteps or slights and i personally i try to focus on the positive in a lot of things and i just have to be happy that i get to get something new out of these games now without having to either pay money in the mcc or sea of thieves case or while i did buy the bundle to be able to switch over to pc i, I at the moment if i can get 20 30 hours of enjoyment out of forsaken that is my money well spent that is what gaming is for so i'm fine spending money on expansions like this i understand it's a controversial thing but if anybody who's played any sort of persistent world game dating back all the way to the wow days knows these expansions you're gonna end up paying for them and a lot of people on console just say you're buying the game again whereas a lot of people on pc who've played wow for 10 12 years are like hey, yeah yeah that's how this worked and then personally or at least youtubely i don't want to say personally because i have more going on in my life than just youtube but on youtube i've been trying to find my own reset button find something to hold me over until Halo Infinite launches to have the channel survive past funny and lucky moments because those videos are not performing halfway as well as they used to be like not even halfway as well so I need to find something that I can be happy with I can be passionate about while at the same time growing and trying to diversify and trying to find something new here on YouTube that might be MCC content that might be Destiny 2 content that might not even be on YouTube I've been streaming on Twitch the past couple nights, and that's been a hell of a lot of fun. And we just made affiliate, which is cool. I had the first bits ever donated to the channel. Somebody donated one bit, and they were my first. So I'm always going to remember that. That's a cool little thing that happened. But I've been trying a couple different series. I've been doing more in my offline life and trying to spend more time with Selena and Cynthia. I've been doing a lot more at work. But gaming, gaming is always my thing, my hobby, my sanctuary and the place I go to decompress and to relax so finding more games to play and more things to enjoy and just more things to have fun with has always been really great so I'm just I wanted to do a little video on that I wanted to talk about all the resets we've been seeing in the gaming world all the things that have been going on and the fact that two of the games that I've really campaigned for or been happy with where others have been very unhappy with I just wanted to say that maybe you want to give them another shot maybe you want to go back hit the reset button and say yeah this this might be worth my time and my money again but that's just me I don't know September we're in this weird spot between all of the big game launches and the drought that is summer Forsaken was kind of the first big game launch of the fall for me that is anywhere on my radar. I think next up is Hitman 2 in November, but if there's something else that I should be keeping my eye out for, I definitely want to hear from you. Is there some game you want to see me play that I should definitely, absolutely, I need to check out? Or do you think I'm completely off base with the games I'm already playing? And should I just kick Destiny and the MCC to the curb? I want to hear from you. I want to hear your thoughts. Again, try to keep it civil. Just as always, we're trying to build something here that anybody can come and join in on. 
But until next time, you know what to do. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you hated it. Subscribe for some more commentaries like this here on the channel. Go out there, be good to each other, and I'll talk to you next time.